let's remove the the water from the bottom of the ocean. Well, that makes no sense. The, your efforts would be completely futile. It's the same thing of just going through life. It's like your efforts are futile. Life's going to go on, period. Good day, everyone. Welcome back to the channel, Glitch in the Matrix. Thank you for joining me. So I'm interested to do this one. This was nowhere on my radar. It just popped up. I didn't even know it was being done. I didn't even know it was in the works. But we're talking about David Byrne from The Talking Heads performing Once in a Lifetime. Now, there's a few interesting things about this. But before we get into the song itself, there was something that came out maybe, God, it probably 15 plus years ago, if not even longer, to where The Talking Heads kept trying the other members of Talking Heads kept trying to talk David Byrne into doing another tour. They didn't even have to rewrite any, you know, they didn't even have to write any new music. They could literally tour on their old music and they were getting these offers. And David Byrne turned them down and said, absolutely no way in the world I ever want to do that. And it never happened. And then out of the blue, I see that he performed once in a lifetime on Saturday Night Live the other day. I didn't know it was coming and I'm like, I've got to see this. I have not seen it yet. The only thing I have seen is just to make sure my audio and video look good was a very, very brief intro to where it uh, starts with him doing his wavering dancing. If you guys have ever seen the original video, it's really kind of left field and it's but the irony behind it is it's actually choreographed. So Tony Basil, uh, you guys probably know her from uh, that song, Mickey, oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine. <laughs> I don't want to go too far into it. But she was actually a choreographer in the 80s and did a lot of people's uh, videos back then. And this one was done more along the lines of something from like a normal everyday person as opposed to a true dancer. And it was supposed to be a little bit more robotic and just kind of going through the motions. And they kind of nailed it. And I believe that is what is done through the majority of this SNL live performance of this song. So anyway, the song itself is about, uh, there's, a, there's a misconception out there about what it's about. A lot of people think, oh, it came out in the 80s and it's about excess and it's about living in the 80s. And the 80s was totally about a lot of excess and stuff like that. But that's not really it. It's really kind of about going through life in autopilot. And it doesn't matter what we do in life. Life never slows down. And... If you listen to some of the words, it's kind of like you're just going through the motions and you go to work every day and you, or you go to school. Let's start even further back. You go to school and then you get a job and then you go to work every day and then you get married and then you have kids. And the next thing you know, you're like, I've got this house and this wife and these kids. It's like, how did I get here? And that's actually really what it's about. It's just kind of about just zoning and going through life and it doesn't matter what you do. Your efforts are futile. Life goes on. And this is where we end up. Anyway. Very cool song. This was kind of an introduction to a lot of people for the Talking Heads. Uh, Talking Heads kind of came up, you know, through CBGB, punk rock, you know, kind of considered from that point. I really like the Talking Heads, uh, Psycho Killer, stuff like that. Great music. My wife loves the Talking Heads. Um, I'm doing this one specifically. I don't think this would be the first choice I would do for a Talking Heads song. But the reason I'm doing it is because it's just randomly made this big bold statement in the mainstream coming out on Saturday Night Live just randomly so I wanted to kind of get it out there and check it out and revisit it but uh killer band man killer band and they really did come up during that time period in that genre they were put on MTV a lot back in the day but back then things were done a lot differently because MTV didn't have nearly as much you know persuasion as it did you know in the later 80s and in the 90s so regardless of the push of some of you know talking heads music on MTV they still this song um, never even made any charts or anything like that but if anybody who has paid any attention to any type of music like this during these years and during these genres is going to know the song anyway even though it never did chart but anyway let's go ahead and dive into it i'm excited about this one um this actually was not on my radar to do so it's I, I like to take these left turns and just go out and do a video that i had no idea i was about to do and just do it it just kind of uh it's kind of keeps me uh keeps me focused <laughs> anyway let's go ahead and dive in talking heads once in a lifetime live from saturday night live the other day hope you guys haven't seen the video yet even if you have Hopefully you found some interesting facts I'm sitting here talking about. Please get out there, subscribe if you haven't already. Got a lot coming with the kids very soon. A couple this week with Annie, and uh, more to come soon. So let's get to dig into this one for now. Yourself. 
This is a killer performance right off the start though, really because it's so left field to the mainstream. It doesn't have like a normal band in the background and they're just not up there singing. It's like a performance piece. And then on top of it, if you guys are familiar with the Tom Tom Club, who actually is made up of a husband and wife from two members of um, the Talking Heads, this is very reminiscent of that as well. So I really, really, really dig what's happened to this right from the beginning. Let's, let's keep going. <laughs> you may tell yourself, this is not my beautiful house. You may tell yourself, this is not my beautiful wife. This is a big time performance piece, isn't it? Actually, that's kind of case in point right there. He's talking about how efforts are just futile, and that line really comes up in a futile effort. It's like, Let's remove the, the water from the bottom of the ocean. Well, that makes no sense. The, your efforts would be completely futile. It's the same thing of just going through life. It's like your efforts are futile. Life's going to go on, period. Anyway, let, let's, uh, let's keep going. <laughs> all right i'm sorry i'm pausing so much there's so much going on i just like to talk about this stuff he said he's on a highway where does this highway lead to there's a real quick story me and they sing a song also called uh um you're on the road to nowhere and me and a friend of mine were in california in our late teen years and we kept we went off the beaten path to try to find this beach that we wanted to find and it's gets dark we have no idea where we're at we don't live out there we're lost completely lost out of our mind this is way before gps way before cell phones way before anything and we're literally out in the middle of nowhere and that song just comes on out of the blue like you're on the road to nowhere and it was just it was just such a funny coincidence to 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 hear that Sorry for the long pause on that. There's just so much going on. There's so many things to reminisce when these uh, this old school music comes on with me.
Nice, man. That killed. I loved it. I love what they did with that. There was nothing about that that, that I did not like. Um, again, this was not on my radar, so I didn't really think, you know, I, I think I said most of my pieces in the middle of the song. I'll put the original down there. Some people get mad if you pause too much, whatever, but this is what it's about. It's about reacting. It's about talking about these videos. It's what these types of videos are about. So I'll put the original link down there if you guys want to go check that out. Man, I dug that. Sorry, there's a loud something outside my house here that keeps making noise. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please get out there and subscribe if you haven't already. Got more coming with the kids here soon. Here comes a big, loud truck. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching this one.